Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a DIY on this lipstick holder. It's going to be very easy and affordable. Most of the products are from the Dollar Tree, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start from the bottom. This is a Lacey Susan. It's what's going to make the lipstick stand holder spin around. I got it at Home Depot for $4.50. To cover the Lacey Susan, I got a foam board sheet, I think it's called, from the Dollar Tree. And I placed the Lacey Susan on top, and then with my blade, I cut around the edges. Now, this foam paper is not the best because it is from the Dollar Tree, but it still worked. The only thing is that around the edges, it looks a little bumpy so what I'm going to do is cover it up with some paper later throughout the video I will show you this paper that I also got from the Dollar Tree this paper comes in different colors you have pink you have white you have yellow so I just decided to just use the white side so the paper didn't give to cover the top because I used some of the paper just to cover the edges of the Lacey Susan, but it's okay. The Lacey Susan is going to be on top of this, so you don't have to worry. All I wanted to do is basically cover the edges where you see the bumps on the foam board, and so it worked out great. After that, all I did was glue the Lacey Susan right on top of that, like I'm showing you right now. This is the part that is going to be in the bottom and then you're going to flip it over. On top is going to be our base where everything is going to be placed on. So that's why I told you if the paper didn't cover the whole thing, it's okay because that part is not going to show. It's only the bottom. Now for the top, I did exactly what I did with the first one that is in the bottom. But when it comes to measurements, you guys, for this DIY, I didn't do any measurements I didn't use a ruler all I did was basically get the items place them in the foam board to see how much space I needed traced around it and then cut it so I'm sorry I can't tell you what size is what because I didn't measure anything that is how I did it after that all I'm going to do is put the hot glue on top of the foam board and place the Lacey Susan put some pressure on it to make sure it sticks and then I'm just going to move the Lacey Susan around just to make sure that is moving properly and everything is good to go now this 3-in-1 cotton set is where you're going to place your lipsticks or your lip gloss whatever you want I got it from the Dollar Tree and then to cover them up I'm going to use these foil sheets that I also got from the Dollar Tree these sheets are very nice there's 20 in one pack they come in red gold pink blue and silver and I chose the silver because it has like a mirror effect and I thought it was very nice so that's the one that I chose to do the DIY but you could choose whatever color you guys want so then what you're going to do is carefully with a blade cut the edges so you can remove the top and once that's done you're ready to cover them up like I said I used the silver foil sheet and all I'm going to do is place it right on top just to make sure how much of the sheet I'm going to need and then I'm going to cut. All I'm going to do is basically make sure that at least part of it could go inside because there is a little section that you could place it. I'm going to show you and I want the bottom also to be covered just in case you really not going to need the back side to be covered because that part is not going to show I end up covering it up but then you really didn't need to so just buy two sets of sheets just in case you do mess up or maybe you might just need some extra so just make sure that you buy two because that's what I did so then I'm just going to go with the hot glue and just place it inside the base fold the paper inside this is what I was telling you guys I wanted the paper to go inside to for the edges to be nice and covered and then I'm just going to place some hot glue all around to glue the rest of the paper and like I mentioned earlier right now I'm going to show you how it's going to look if you don't cover the back it won't matter because that part is not going to show I end up covering it up but then I figured why did I do that because the back was not going to show so just letting you know if you run out of paper you should be fine as long as you cover the front so the designs that you see on each 
side they are picture frames from the Dollar Tree I got two now I got them in silver thinking that they were going to match I guess with the foil paper but they were way off so I decided to paint them in white and I think that that made them look better so for the first one how I decorated was got some regular print paper cut it to the size of the frame and then I went in with these stickers from Michaels I thought they were cute because they have some shine to them and they also come in different colors so you have some purple red coral and there were different sides of lips so all I did was place the stickers on the paper placed it inside and then for the back piece since this is a picture frame all I did was rip the back stand of the picture frame and these two little small pieces from the side just in case you want to hang the picture frame and then what I'm going to do is get some foiled paper again and I'm going to place it right on top so when this is placed on top of the base and the corners of the size show is nicely blending together with the other foiled paper which is the lipstick stand so that's basically the wall so I wanted everything to blend nicely together so I put some foil paper on back of the picture frame now for the second one all I did was go on to pick monkey and design this and then I just printed out of the computer after that I'm going to place the glass right on top just to make sure that is the exact size of the frame and basically do everything that I did for the first one So now we're going to start just placing everything and start gluing everything together. First I took one of the holders and I put it on the corner of the base. And then the other one, before I glued it, I placed a foam board on the side just to make sure that they were both angled correctly. And I also had some space for my picture frames to be the wall of the design. Now for the top ones, all I did was brung it down about one inch and glued it right behind the bottom one because I wanted to have like that type of stairway design. But then I took some foam board and cut in pieces and glued them right in the bottom of the top one just to have some type of sturdiness just because in case the lip glosses or the lipsticks become a little too heavy it will have that support so they won't fall down because remember the foil paper is what's going to be basically glued behind the bottom one so i wanted some support just in case so that's what i did and then I'm just going to put some pressure just to make sure everything again stays nice and glued. After that, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Then once that's done, you're going to go with your picture frames and put them on each side. This is why I was telling you if you run out of paper, it's not going to show so you'll be okay. But you do have to add some foil paper in the back of the picture frame because when you turn it, in each corner you're going to see a section of the picture frame so to blend it and make it look nice all together that's why I put the foil paper behind the picture frame and then for the last step I decided to add some bling stickers I think they called from Michaels that I have from a previous DIY that I did and I placed them all around the picture frames and the bottom of the Lacey Susan. And I just felt like it just gave it an extra something and it just made it look a little nicer. Then once you're done placing all your bling stickers, this is how it's going to look like empty. After that, you're going to place either your lipsticks or your lip glosses, whatever you guys want. I place some lipsticks on the bottom and also some lip liners on each side and my lip glosses right on top. I love the way it turned out, but the best part was that it was very affordable, so I hope you guys get to recreate it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.